This video is about task management. Earlier, I had done a comparison of all task management apps available inside Microsoft 365. This is the matrix we used. And the conclusion was none of the apps fit the bill across all the criteria which we used. And the conclusion there was the only product which does fit the bill is Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project is not a part of Microsoft 365. You have to purchase it separately. But at least from a task management point of view, it gives you all the capabilities. So this video is a quick demo of what I mean by using Microsoft Project for task management. Before we go ahead, I'll tell you the conclusion. Microsoft Project is an enterprise project management software. We are not going to cover that. We are going to cover a simplified usage pattern of using Microsoft Project to do better quality task management. Another thing to remember is whatever we are discussing today, that is November 2023, is going to get outdated very soon because during Ignite, Microsoft announced that they are combining three products into the new incarnation of project. Which are the three products? To do planner and the current project itself. That's likely to be introduced somewhere around April in 2024. Microsoft project as of now is also in a confused state. There are two distinct products. One is project online, which is desktop plus the erstwhile project server and then project for the web, which is a new incarnation of MS project. It's still a simplified version. It's a power app app, which uses data words in the background. We are not going to discuss project for the web because it's underpowered and most probably it is going to get outdated very soon because it will be replaced with the new project. What we are going to talk about is project online. So project online has three plans, but for us, there are only two plans which are relevant. For people who are just going to get work from others and execute it, people down the line require plan one and people at senior level who are going to give work to each other as well as down the line require plan three. So I'm going to show you the process in a very brief manner. The idea is just to understand the concept. This is not a deep dive hands-on session on MS project. The project manager goes and creates a new project and adds task. Many people want linked task and we saw that in our comparison, none of the other tools give you linked tasks. Microsoft project is designed for that purpose. So once you add and link tasks, what is the benefit? You automatically know when the project is going to get over without any manual calculation. So typically you put the start date of the first task or the project itself and then put durations for each task and link them. Now, as soon as you add a task, you can assign it to people. Let's look at both sides of the story. As the person who is assigning work to people, I want to know what is happening across my projects or initiatives. How do I do that? When I publish each project, it automatically gets consolidated. So if I go to the project area, I can see all my projects together. This itself looks like a task list, but here each task is actually a project in itself. And if I have said, okay, this one is partially complete, I will see the completion status as well. So as the person monitoring projects, I can get a combined view with no copy paste. Now let's look at the other side of the story. The actual work is going to be done by users and our representative user right now is assistant. When I go to tasks section, I can see all my tasks across projects. Now this may sound familiar to you because in to-do app, assigned to me was doing something similar. The only problem is these project tasks currently do not land into assigned to me. If and when that happens, you don't even need that project plan one license. And probably that is the reason Microsoft has not done it. I don't see an item in Microsoft roadmap where MS project task will land up in to-do app as assigned to me. And probably with this unification of to-do planner and project into one, that final app hopefully will do this anyway. One of the requirements always is I want a Gantt chart. None of these tools are going to give you a Gantt chart. SharePoint does, but as I have shown you in another video, it's a pseudo Gantt chart. Proper Gantt chart, MS project is the place to go. So that's one distinct advantage. The second important difference is dependencies. 
in flat task hierarchy each task has its own deadline and if it gets delayed nothing else gets delayed that's in theory in practice something else will get delayed so the realistic picture of dependencies which microsoft project gives you is invaluable for any kind of project management third one is assigned by me and assigned to me both are available as a consolidated view as a resource i can see it and as a project manager i can see all my projects together that doesn't happen in any other tool another problematic thing with planner is everyone can see everything and everyone can even edit or delete everything obviously that's not going to happen with project because it's designed for robust enterprise wide project management so subtasks is another difference planner does have something like a checklist which people use as subtasks to do also as something like a subtask but ms project can have multiple hierarchies of subtasks and finally if you really want it that way you get extensive reporting from microsoft project it integrates with power bi to give you a live dashboard which shows you timelines across projects resource utilization and cost accrual across projects so to conclude now you have a better picture of what ms project has to offer if you have not seen the original task management video and the task comparison video do watch those two videos you will get a much better idea of which tool to use when in a discretionary manner because now you will know their pros and cons and then you can apply it to your context and manage work efficiently by the way when you like share and subscribe youtube knows this video is useful and it's going to show it to millions of other people who desperately need this knowledge so let's make the world a better place together